Morning everybody. I'm sitting here just waiting to see if my Danios are going to spawn. I uh, set them up a couple of days ago. They probably have spawned. I just haven't really moved them. So anyway, I thought I'd give you an update. Um, last Thursday I picked up a new kitten. I was like, yeah, you know, cute little kitten. She's fluffy. She's gorgeous. I'll share some photos of her. Um, but it turns out she was quite sick. She wasn't well. The vets wondered if it was pneumonia. And being Easter weekend last weekend, we had to... Saturday they were open. So we went in and she was checked out. They said she doesn't sound right. Put her on antibiotics. Booked her for Tuesday when they reopened for x-rays. Tuesday rolls around. Meanwhile, we're like, oh my God, that she's so tiny. Eight weeks old skin and bone not eating properly she was only eating quarters a half a teaspoon of jelly meat in a sitting um yeah and she wasn't drinking enough mm, she was playing but not enough and she wouldn't sleep in our bed which i've had a lot of cats over the years and they normally sleep in the bed and she wouldn't um her breathing was very labored so tuesday rolls around drop her off at half past eight to get her x-rays done and our vet he's amazing he did the x-rays rang me straight away and said hey look this doesn't look right it's not pneumonia we suspect she's got a perforated diaphragm which after a bit of research and a kitten that's small they can be born with it but turns out no she wasn't because she didn't have scar tissue was most likely caused by being kicked in the stomach not in our house <laughs> so he advised we had two options i give him credit he did not suggest putting her down either bring her home see how she goes she could last months like that and i was like no nah, that, that doesn't sound very nice living months on end not being able to breathe i'm asthmatic so I get it, you know, if you can't breathe, that's horrible, and it could be quite terrifying that you can't get enough breath in. So the second option was to open her up and have a look and see if he could fix it. But he said, you know, she had a high chance of dying because she was so little, so underweight, and he said she could bleed out. And I decided, you know, it, it's better for her either it's fixed or she dies either way is better off for her so we did it he rang me about an hour and a half later and he said he was very surprised and very happy she survived and it turned out she had intestines up around her right lung like just about to the top of her chest so that explained why she couldn't breathe so now we have this teeny tiny little kitten running around our house she got D6 at the same time. He said, well, it's invasive. You know, if you had to take all the guts out to make sure there was no folds in her stomach or any twists or anything, which she's comfortable with, fine. But she's been D6 at the same time. He said, you know, we're already in there, so we might as well do it. So they did. Wow. She's like a whole new kitten now. She does have a scar from her belly button all the way up to the bottom rib. And she is eating like a absolute horse. We've got those, you know, you know the little kitten sachets? Yeah. Um, she was eating one of those a day. Um, but even then, she was only actually eating the jelly out of it, not the meat. She couldn't eat actual chunks because she couldn't digest it properly and it must have hurt now oh well next week she's going to be on tins because she is eating so much she's going through two two and a half sachets in a day and she has put some weight on so i'm absolutely stoked in just a week it's been noticeable um so yeah i will share some photos of her how because she's super cute you'll see her in the fish room in a couple of weeks she's not allowed outside yet because she is that little and we don't want to risk her getting a cold 
And then last night, we noticed our old dog, Ozzy. He's got a cold. He's got a snuffling nose and he was coughing. And so he's going to be at the vet on Monday. So my vet bills are rather large. So today I'll be loading some guppies on Trade Me for Sale to go towards my vet bills. Because her vet bill is oh, not 700, 650-ish for the visit to go to the vet on Saturday, being a long weekend, and then all the x-rays, the operation, um, yeah, you know, yeah, your budget for getting your kitten, all the stuff you got to buy, kitty litter, new tray, we put enough aside for a de-sexing of vaccinations, that's cool. I didn't expect the bill to be quite so massive. And now it's going to be even bigger. So, I've got one group there. I've already taken videos of. Uh, it's a group of 11 male guppies of all different colours. They're a mixed lot. They'll look really cool in someone's tank, just to brighten it up. Uh, I've got a group of galaxies, all males. Some of them are quite little, but very colourful. Uh, there's also going to be a group of Japanese blues, mostly double swords, a few odd shaped tails. And I have a group of platinum white males. Sorry, no females yet. I'm building up numbers. So, yeah, if you can, check out Trade Me. Look up uh, Rabbit Nuts. It's my name on there from when I used to breed rabbits. Um, oh yeah, they are spawning, so that's cool. Might have some Danny O's soon. They are long fin, yep, definitely spawning. Long fin leopards, and there's a couple of glow. What are they called? Glow Danny O's. Oh, dummy's just got stuck, stuck behind. Sorry, just rescuing fish from behind the filter. Silly fish. Yeah, you've always got some that are a bit dumb like that. Anyway, so yeah, so they'll be long fins. And this jinxie, he's trying to open my door. Uh, long fins. Sorry, long fin Danios and glow light Danio possible crosses. I don't know what they'll look like if they do crossbreed. If you have seen them crossbreed before, let me know. I'd love to know what they'll turn out like. So, fingers crossed we'll have some Danny O babies in the next couple of weeks and I'll do some videos of when they hatch in four days' time. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so that's why I haven't done any how-tos or reviews or anything because I've been a bit preoccupied. The fish room has come along a bit since you last saw it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might do a quick video of how things have progressed in the last week well two weeks since we last did a video um yeah so i'll put some photos of the little luna and um cross our fingers that ozzy's okay he's old oz he's nine nine and a half years old he's got fat lumps he's got a benign tumor in his mouth we've Knowing that he's going downhill over the last few months, just old age, I think, is catching up on him. He's been for tests, they haven't found anything wrong yet, other than this cough now. So, fingers crossed, it's nothing serious. Um, yeah, so I'll do a quick video of the fish room. There's a few extra tanks have been put up. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. So, you get to make, see some photos of a little Luna and you'll see her in the fish room in a few weeks when she's a bit bigger. Anyway, that's it. Bit of a ramble. Nothing particularly exciting. Um, yeah, so. Hope you're having a better week than us. Uh, not as expensive, I hope, for you. Yeah. So if you want to check out my guppies for sale on Trade Me, they'll be loaded 
sometime today I've got to do a couple more get some more photos of the galaxies and Japanese blues yeah I'm feeling a bit shattered it's been a long week and it's absolutely bucketing down outside so it's quite nice being able to sit in a fish room that's quite nice and warm <laughs> anyway I'll catch you guys later see you later bye Okay, so since you last saw it, we've gotten these tanks up and running. So, an extra seven tanks. I did get that one sealed, but now that's run another leak. Um, other than that, oh yeah, these pieces arrived from China. So I've just got to plumb them all in so that'll be good. This is where the Danios are sitting. They are spawning up crazy. And that's the last shelf to be done. Need a bit of a trim. And then the lights can go on underneath. And then I can wire up the lights for down there. Oh, I did get all the airlines running. That took me three days of stress. Good distraction, actually. So what I've actually used is pipes from Bunnings for micro irrigation and the little taps i'd ordered some from china but they were taking forever funnily enough a week after i finished doing it and spending a fortune on bits and pieces they turned up from china so never mind but they'll be used for other projects in here later finally got myself organized to figure out where's what and everything so yeah, um, so this is the group of galaxies, I don't know if it will show them very well, you really like to not focus on them, no, no it's not going to focus, oh there we go, so these guys are going to be put on trade me as a group, I might do groups of 10, I'm not actually even sure how many are in here, so yeah, that is the quick update. And you've seen the cuteness that is little little Luna. Um, Jinxie's in here. He's figured out to open my door. He has figured out to look in to see if Mummy's in here, and if I'm not here, he doesn't come in. We're getting himself stuck. Anyway, so that's the update. Nothing particularly exciting. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later on. I'm going to try and start doing more videos, more how-tos and things like that, product reviews and stuff. I've still got a few more to do. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Bye!